Leading property developer Glomag Berhad is set to launch a new project in Kulai Jaya, Johor by the first quarter of next year. It will have a gross development value of 750 million ringgit. Glomag CEO Dato Sri FD Iskandar said the first two phases of the project will be made up of landed affordable housing. Kulai Jaya, we're going to build a new township. Uh, the land is about two kilometers away from JPO, the Johor Premium Outlet. Inshallah, we will launch it uh, we, by, by, by March next year. And we are going, at least for the first phase, the first two phases, we are putting up affordable homes. And we are trying to put up a new concept uh, for that area. We are looking at, at, at things that it's already done in the Greater KL, but maybe not done in Johor for that price range. Iskandar said Glomag will also be developing Phase 5 of its well-known Banda Saujana Utama residential project in Sungai Bulo Selangor and it will have a gross development value of 300 million ringgit. Last month, Glomag reported lower first quarter profits with a 13.62% drop to 20.85 million ringgit compared to the same period last year. The fall was mainly due to the completion of Damansara residence and tail-end projects in Banda Saujana Utama. Speaking to reporters after Glomac's annual general meeting, Iskandar said he anticipates flat earnings for the current financial year ending April 2015. Besides deferring launches, he added that tightening housing loans has also made it difficult for first-time house buyers to afford a property. Since 25, 25th of October last year, everything was flattish. We have people wanting to buy houses, but they can't get loan. It is very difficult to get loan. And when you look at the lower to loan to value ratio, like I said now, it's at 70%. You buy a 400,000 ringgit dollar house, you have to come out with 120,000 ringgit. On top of that, you have to pay stamp duty, you have to pay legal fees, you have to pay SNP fees. So that's a lot of money. However, he said since the recently announced Budget 2015 has given certainty to the industry, Glomac will begin to aggressively launch its project from November onwards. Going forward, Iskandar said Glomac has about 8 billion ringgit worth of future launches that is able to sustain the company for another 7 to 8 years. He, however, declines to reveal the size of the land banks. He said the company will continue to look out for suitable lands to acquire, especially plots within the country. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.